amateur hour. Guys, we're learning. We're learning. I got this set up pretty quickly here in the office. Anyway, I'll start the intro again. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Splunkin' with Scoops. I'm doing this for the first time out against the Cards Against Humanity's offices, and I'm joined by Cards' Max Temkin, who's going to pretend to introduce himself a second time. Hey, guys. Uh, you guys know how this goes. We're going to start playing a Spelunky. We're going to play uh, one or two runs, depending on how fast they go, which is it's usually pretty fast, uh, until we do the daily challenge, where, uh, despite the fact that Chris Remo doesn't know he's involved in this feature, um, he is. Um, oh, all my characters aren't unlocked in this version because my saves don't carry. That's unfortunate. Who's your Who's your go-to from the default? Uh, the, 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 no, the little the, the the girl in the purple. Yeah, no, but from the ones that are unlocked, who, who, who do you go? Oh, you gotta go with Colin Northway. See, see, that's him. That's Colin. All right, I'll go with Colin. This is not ideal webcam setup. I I realize. I, the other webcam setup that we had was on top of the mic, and that was about two inches from my face. So uh, we will we will figure something better out as we go along. Uh, but uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to do the tutorial again. No, this is good. Warm up. Oh, maybe not. I guess it makes sense. This game doesn't have Steam Cloud saves because. Why would it have to have Steam Cloud? All right, Patrick. Let's let's talk about your goals today. What are you, uh -huh. what are you trying to improve? <sighs> well, I mean, like other than using the teleport. Yeah, I think I think you should start trying to grab the the wadged eye. Start trying to get to the black market. I think that stuff is is, is real important. Yeah, I've, I've, like I'm. You, you pretty much cannot g compete for best score on the daily unless you're trying to get to the city of gold and, and go through that whole sequence. You're right. Plus, um, killing the shopkeepers in the black market, you get a ton of gold. I also need to work on not uh, going after the enemies, which yeah. is something that you pointed out when you yeah, watched that was good. my I previous saw, I saw that you just flew by those spiders. That was good. But I you thought about it. I thought about it, and then you were sitting next to me, and I thought, good. he's going to yell at me. Nice nice job picking up the rat, too. You know that will protect you from an arrow. Yes. You get hit by an arrow. All right. Good job throwing that pot away from you. So far, so good. So you can actually throw the rat at the spider to knock him down, and then he would have fallen. Oh, really? The arrow trap. Yeah. It'll, it will it will not damage them, but it will like dislodge them from their from their little perch. And you can set that trap off too. But you gotta oh. get him. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, little pup. Good job. I also learned all sorts of things uh, when I was watching um, you guys play last night about this, the cup filled with the blood. The Kapala, yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's, let's see advance Spelunky tactics. If you get the uh, if you get the altar, we'll we'll try and get the Kapala today. I think that's a good goal too. Nice. Yeah, the the Kapala for people who don't. Uh, that's a good job. So the the the, the Kapala, it's a, it's sort of a, a somewhat hidden item in the game, and it comes if you get enough favor with Kali by sacrificing. Uh, you know, uh, uh, damsels or uh, creatures that can be knocked out on top of the altar. Um, I think it's if you get uh, eight points of favor or something like that, uh, it, she'll give you a, a, a special item called the Cup of Kali or the Kapala, and uh, that will let you collect the blood from enemies and you gradually fill the cup up with blood and then it gives you extra life. So then later in the game in the temples, you can actually like harvest the vomit from the mummies and get um, a ton of life. So if you ever see like real pro streamers who have 99 life, that sometimes that's how they get that far up there. Yeah, the idea that you guys told me yesterday you could actually get to 99 life, just like, it's like oh, you're joking. But like, if you sit and just like harvest the vomit, like uh, when I was watching last night, he was in a good spot where he could have just sat there and done that for like five minutes and, and probably gotten up there. Um, so I'm playing. Also, Max is in the chat. If you guys have questions or uh, want to ask him stuff about the game, uh, I don't know how often we'll have guests when I'm doing it from here, but uh, being around people. And also, this office is full of. Oh, that almost went really poorly. Oh, people, people want to know my ex nice. 
people want to know my uh, experience with Splunky, uh, I'm a, I, I really like the game. I think it's my favorite video game, and I, I may have maybe played it more than any other game, uh, especially recently. I'm not super good at it. Uh, I've gotten to hell a, a number of times, but I've never beat uh, Yama. I can beat Olmec pretty pretty easily, um, but also uh, just uh, a lot of my friends are, are into it and uh, spend a lot of my video game time just trying to trying to master the game and get really good at it. And I I'm just know a lot about it. I'm, I'm kind of obsessive about it. All right, so what do you think here? I get the I get the spring boots. I think that those are gonna open up a lot of uh, uh, areas for you. I would also get the ropes. Okay. I don't think you need the spike boots. I think you'll I never buy. It, I don't. The pitcher's mitt doesn't seem very useful. It can be, but you don't. You, you know. I, I don't know. I think you're you're better off with your money at this point. Okay. So I didn't. Oh, here we go. Patrick Chattis. Oh, that's just unfortunate. You might get lucky. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Chad is saying that the game audio is still a little uh, hot. Game audio is hot. All right, let's see if we can fix that. Let's go into the mixer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring Splunky down by 50. All right, Chad. That should hopefully we've cut the audio in half. That should hopefully uh, make that better. We're in the in the middle of figuring out audio. We had to do so. We're running two two microphones today, which uh, XSplit is not supposed to let you do. It does not let you uh, allow you to pick that many audio sources. Um, so I had to download a virtual audio mixer uh, in order to, to make that possible. Um, just peek on the right. Make sure the the key's not there. I think you're all right. Go go all the way to the right if you can. All right, get out of there. Go, go, go. So does the ghost always come in from one direction? Does it depend on the level? The ghost will come in uh, closest to where you are. So at the time, at the moment that the ghost timer is triggered. So in that level, you were all the way on the left side uh, okay. dealing with the dog when the ghost came in. So that's where he came after you. Um, the other thing, I, I'm pretty sure I heard this from the developer of the game, and I'm not just making this up, but I think that the game actually tracks how long you spend in the levels, and if you spend a long time in the levels and you get the ghosts really often, you're more likely to get a dark level. So oh. another, another reason to... Just keep moving. Yeah, another reason not to uh, dally. Did you check out that shop yet? Oh, no, that's, out, that's over there on the left. Oh, right? it's, yeah. You can just look down into the shop. You don't have to go all the way over there. Oh, I'd, oh get those, I'd get some of that stuff. I'm not sure I can afford the cape and the gloves. I really like those gloves. Those gloves have saved me. Uh, yeah, go, go for the gloves. I think that's a safe bet. You might be able to, once you clear out that, that snake pit, you might be able to afford both, too, because you get those two rubies on the bottom. No, you told oh, me. I have the gloves. You just bought the gloves. I you just totally bought the gloves. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do that. Uh, I don't know how. Maybe that's just me being new to the game, but right. I will constantly is mix. Trap? Is that trap hot? No, I, okay. I think I already said it. Um, I will constantly mix up my runs and like immediately start a new run and be like, oh yeah, I can just climb on this, uh, oh, this wall the, the and then pack, can't. The, the jetpack gets me all the time. And then suddenly just kill myself uh, immediately. So it sounds like whatever I drop down there triggers most of these yeah, traps. Yeah, I think you're I think you're safe on those traps. So we're, we got to find the chest, and you're gonna want to. Oh man, did you get lucky? Yeah. So I, I just like to hang there. Yeah, you got it. And so, then, so under go, here, right? Pop, yeah. Pop that chest before you do anything. You don't want to start. So before you set the bomb there, you want to like get that rock out of there because the bomb is gonna send the rock flying. So that could mess with my physics? Yeah, exactly. The rock, okay. It'll send the rock up in the air and you can get damage. Now jump right. up on the... Yeah, that's you're probably safe there. Okay, so now you can you do have enough to afford that cape. So see if you can um, kind of... I would go back up the snake pit maybe. Because you already ha you have everything you need out of this level. And you have six health. So you don't need to worry about the dog. Just see if you can sort of jungle gym your way out of here. Oh, these, these jumps. You'll get, you'll get good at those over time. There we go. Uh -oh. That's all right. You're fine. You're because you can always go down on the left. So just keep moving. Okay. So 
Let's let's just find out where the ghost is. Okay, I think you're clear. So go, yeah, hit the shop, get the cape real quick. Take the mattock. Don't worry about the dog. All right, Damn. just go, just go. Get yourself to the exit. Watch out for that. Oh, trap. nice. You're right. You're right. Get the mattock. Just go huh. straight to the door. Dog. Right. Don't even worry about it. Just go, go, go. Nice. Okay. Okay. You're fine. You've still four health. You're in a great position. You got the cape and the mattock. Got those climbing gloves. Because when you get to the caves, if you have the jetpack or the climbing gloves, that seems to be pretty clutch at making those stages not that difficult, or at least manageable, for all the weird stuff that seems to happen in the caves. Okay. This is a good run, Patrick. You got you got a lot of good gear on like one three. So, okay, so, hang on, what, so, so, just think about, like, strategically where you are in the game right now. Okay. All you need to do in this level is just get to safety. You do not, you don't need anything out of this level. There's no reason to... Because we're going to go and just kill the shopkeepers. That's what you're kind of telling me, Well, we're going right? to go, let's see if we can get the black market. I think that's going to be fun for you. Okay. I would take the Matic, you, you know, if you can do the Matic and the dog, if you feel, if you feel up to it, try, the dog is always a bonus, like, get that extra health. But you don't need to explore this level too thoroughly. Like, there's no items you're looking for. Like, I have a, I have a good base level set of yeah, items. Yeah, you're fine. You have bombs. You have ropes. You have health. You're, you're going to have everything you need for success on this run. So you really... You just really don't, just, don't you're be trying, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're just trying not to make any mistakes on this level. Nicely done. You already have paste, so no reason to go after that spider. You're good on money. So I just bomb and get everything just and go get, down? Just get out. Uh-oh. Uh oh, you're, now you're in trouble. Just... Just get out of there. Just hit the, hit, kill that human. He's in the web, so just hit him with the. Oh mattock. man. Okay, this is all going to shit. Oh man, there was something in there. Just go. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I should have used the bomb right there. We, oh I should have trusted my instincts. Maybe. I should have trusted my instincts. You shouldn't have gone. You shouldn't have gone wandering under that spider. I think that's where this came undone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You Why didn't you warn me? Hmm. <laughs> oh, All watch. right, well, that's our first run. I'm watching the chat. This is going to be fun. I get to watch the chat. See this on a delay now. Yeah, they recently <laughs> made... Everyone's saying... Yeah, that's a good point. Everyone's saying you should have dug down. You yep. didn't even need to use a matic, the bomb. You should have just dug right through. So you... Yeah. yeah. I, wish I, right. had, I wish I had said that. Yep. Ah. So you can dig down with the matic? Oh, yeah, that's the perp that's what that Matic does. Were you wondering what that did and why you were carrying it around? Well, no, I know that you okay. can dig left to right, but I yeah, didn't you know you could dig down. up and down. Yeah, so if you're standing uh, with no block to your left or your right, it will get the uh, uh, block to your left or your right. How dare you insult my coaching, Giant Bomb <laughs> Chat? How dare you? <laughs> you know what? I would have used the Matic had I known that it actually goes down. I did right. not know. So you know what? Easy to get frustrated at, at a potentially good run, but... The best kinds of runs are one when you, you learn something out of it. And now I know that the matic goes down. So that's, a, that's the attitude. That's a valuable lesson. See, that's, that's how I stay, that's how I keep my focus. When do I get one of these runs where there's no spikes? Like, is there like a no spike <laughs> run? Where do you get to, if you ever get is to Is that hell, like part of the, the Spelunky hell season just, pass? Hell is just nothing. <laughs> hell is just nothing but spikes. Is it really? Well, more or less, yeah. Oh. There are a lot of spikes. I've never even seen hell. I've like gone out of my way to not look anything up there's, about it. There's some great surprises there that will that will delight and charm you the first time you get there. That seems that seems like deep sarcasm. The fact that I managed to make it to the temple uh, when I did the first stream of these and made it all the way to the end, even though it was my first time in the temple, I felt like I'd already beaten Spl Splunky at that point. At least for my own personal like bar of what I consider <laughs> doing good at Splunky. Yeah, this is good. So, first, so for one one, the the chest and the key are never in here, so you never have to worry. Do these about, explode like, if you even touch them? No, like, you can jump on it. Okay. I, I'm a little superstitious about them. Like I just avoid them at all costs. The other thing is like a shard of a pot can blow it up. A mm. drop of blood from a creature can blow it up. Like they're really sensitive. So on on uh, one one, where you just were, there's no. You're not gonna find the the Wajid eye there. 
Uh, pretty much all you can do, all I try to do for a good 1-1 is try and get out of there with about 10,000 gold. And if you can find the damsel, that's always good. And then just don't spend any bombs or ropes. So that was a very good, that was a really solid 1-1, one, one, I think. So why 10,000? Just about. It, it's like, that means that it's like, you got to get have a good base. Yeah, okay. yeah. It means that when you get to the shop, so the reason 10,000 is there's usually a shop on 1-2. Maybe there's always a shop on 1-2. And uh, that shop, if there's a bomb crate, the 12 bomb crate, you want to be able to afford it. And that's always 10,000. So as long as you have 10,000, that's devastating if you can't get the, the bomb crate on 1-2. Really it seems like if you have an ample amount of bombs, you can kind of make up for a lot of other problems, even with a, a lack of items. At least yeah. you have options. Bom bombs are like a guard against a, a bad sea, too. Like, you can open stuff up. There's no reason to go down there. You're going to get stuck. Oh, no, you can get that no, one. No, no. The dog's dead. Well, the dog shouldn't have gone. <laughs> should have known better. Those, the amount of times I've been an idiot about the skeletons is... All right, don't get that rock. Okay. We're okay. All right. We're okay. Check out that. Yeah, get that bomb crate. Oh, and the gloves. Hell yeah. Later, spider. Nice. Nicely done. Because the bomb crates are 10, right? Ten, uh, 12 bombs. 12. $10,000. So we can't do anything here. And you said the spike shoes are, uh, so like the bigger enemies, like especially that you encounter in the jungle, yeah, so like, like the giant frog, those the are the only way to kind of take them out. Giant right? frog, the mammoth, the queen bee, the mummy, all those kind of things, uh, I don't think you can damage them unless you have the spike shoes. Okay. And then they also will do double damage to some enemies, so like the scorpions you can kill in one jump, uh, that kind of a thing. Nice. Nice whip work. I whip, man. I... You're safe. That arrow trap is no, you're right. I hate those arrows, though. I can't stand those arrows. I always, I always whip them in the wrong direction. All right, so, so you got the key here. So let's, why don't you look down and see if there's a way into that room? It looks like. Does it connect from below? It looks. Oh, nicely done. I think it does. I think, yeah, I think it's the exits. Oof, right. Okay. Huck, can uh, you but I can a do bomb this. Up there? Yeah. Nice. We got uh, this. We got I this. I think that might not get him. No, we got him. Okay, don't you worry. Him. Don't you worry. Oh, look, our friend Fobosh is playing Splunky. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, Steve made your uh, avatar, your Splunky uh, yeah, avatar. Yeah, yeah. There's been uh, there's a thread on the forums of people making uh, some pretty hilarious art for this. It is much appreciated. So they won't trigger from this far down? No, it, they, I think they have to be on the same screen. So I'd, I'd like Huck the dog down there, yeah, and go get that crate. Should be very careful of these spikes. Nice. You can walk over those spikes. Yeah, nice and done. Just go. I'm gonna kill that guy. <laughs> and now we triggered now we that triggered. one. Yeah. <gasps> I think you may be able to jump up, hit through that jump with the gloves. No, I don't think so. I'm I'm just gonna gonna you gotta rope up too much there. time. Okay. All right. Stay there, Mr. Spider. Oh, perfect. So far. Oh. Oh. So far, a perfect run. So you can also, in that situation, you can throw the dog, and it will not damage the dog. So the dog only gets damaged if he gets hit by a fall damage, fall damage, or, or spikes, the spikes, or a trap, or a trap. Okay. But you can like throw him at, at the at enemies to kill or stun them, and it doesn't. Uh, okay. It doesn't hurt him. So this is a scenario where it would have been really great to bring an item into yep. level with you. I really wish I had had a rock or something. Unless there'd be, there's would, nothing uh, over here. Just use a bomb and come down. I'd like look down. Yeah. That's no good either. But you do get you get an unlock character. Hey. Yeah, I'd probably uh, I'd try just drop a bomb down there and take out those arrow traps with a bomb. Oh, that works too. Oh god, I hope you don't damage the. I know. Because it, it only goes over two squares, right? Yeah. But I think you just bomb down into an empty room. So I would not. I wouldn't use another bomb here. I'd go back. I'd jump back up, and then I'd. Oh, you have stickies. That's going to yep. make it hard. I think you should be able to get both of those traps with a sticky. Let's see. No. But if you... If I drop it, because it won't roll, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but I got the rock. There you go. Problem solved. ABC, always be carrying. <laughs> so 
Yes. Yeah, chat, chat is saying we could have used a rope there too. That would work. Yep. So what should uh, I do here? So people are people are asking. Uh, Cause I can just go under here. I could probably unlock that character with just using a bomb, right? Or I think you can just huck a rock at it and you'll be fine. Um, people are uh, asking what happens if you bomb the altar. So if you destroy an Oh, altar, I got my girl! There you go. Oh. And now she's going to hit you with that rock. Hopefully she'll just get killed by a spider. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Okay. Ah. People are asking uh, if, you, if you bomb oh. an altar of Kali. It angers Kali and she it, it explodes into like a, a million spiders. Oh, man. And then you also lose influence. You lose, I think, four or eight influence or something with Kali. And then if you continue to bomb the altars, it puts like a ball and chain around your character. A ball and chain? Yeah. Uh, so that, oh, oh, oh. Damn it. I wasn't looking. I got scared with the spider. I did not have enough time to yell out what was about to happen. You can drop that arrow fragment yeah. down. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you got a good shop here, too. Huh, yeah, the, so we already, got the, we already got the gloves, so spring shoes. <clears throat> Should I get the spike shoes? I go for the gloves over the spike I already shoes. got the gloves. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, get the spike shoes. Yeah, Ch Patrick, Chad is saying uh, pause the game when you st stop to talk about strategy. Good advice. Good, good advice That's from the chat. Probably. No. We, uh, we're I, don't, playing on I, don't, a, I don't need your tunnels, Mr. Tunnel Man. We're playing on a PC. Uh, so this is a, a gaming PC that we have in the office. Oh, yeah, I told folks that we were going to do it on a PS3, but that was until I realized this office had a gaming PC. Um, so we're going to keep doing the, the ch daily challenges here because how else are we going to beat Remo? Nice, also good, nice tip from the chat. I, I never thought of this, but you can actually avoid the fall damage from the dog if you put the dog down and then drop it while it's stunned. The dog won't take damage while it's stunned. Oh. That's an, I've never done that. That's a great, that's a, that's a great tip. That's my pick of the week. Drop the, drop the dog while it's stunned. Should right, I go Patrick, down you, there? You gotta get that bomb crate. So get some, find a way to get some money. I can All right. Go also, get, so okay, so so I can get, I can go get that thing and take it to the shopkeep, right? Yes. What, so do you want to do you want to pause and talk about the the black market for a second? Okay. okay. So here's what we're looking for for the black market. It's gonna, it's gonna be somewhere in the caves. It could be in any of the levels of the caves. It's random where it is. Like you, we saw on a run yesterday. It was like way buried in the rock uh, when Tommy was playing. Right. Uh, and you need to really sweep through the whole level and see if the eye pings. Like, it'll sort of, like, make a sound and light up. So I'll keep an eye. I'll watch the eye and so will the chat, and we'll let you know if it pings. But you really have to explore these levels thoroughly, and that makes the caves really, or uh, the jungle, I mean, really, really hard when you're looking for the black market. Okay. So... So you think we should go for this? Oh, yeah. I think that's... A, I think uh, that should give you... get you pretty close to affording those bombs. So yeah, you're spending one bomb for twelve. That's a good, it's a good transaction. Yeah, just don't fall. Make sure you jump really. Yeah, you got it. Nicely done. All right, so check. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be. Yeah, nice. baby. That was pro. Does that mean there's gonna be a nest in here then? That does. That means there's a bee's nest in in this level. So you can throw the idol to stun that man trap, or better yet, throw the pot at him. I'm trying to get this bee. Well, I guess I could just just go into that square to the left of him and whip him. Well, uh, you may want to make sure. I don't know what happens if he eats the shopkeeper. You may want to prevent him from eating the shopkeeper. That might anger the shopkeepers. Throw him out quickly. Oh God, get him out of your hands. Oh God. <laughs> okay. All right. So just bring the idol to the shopkeeper. The oh, shopkeeper right. will buy the idol from you. Hey, does anyone in the chat know, does it anger the... Sh oh, hey, Greg uh, Woolen is here, too. Spelunky expert, Greg Woolen. Does anyone know what happens if you if the man trap gets the shopkeeper? Does it anger the shopkeepers? I assume it eats them. Yeah. Oh, so that was uh, almost a, a real hairy situation. Yeah, I, I managed to avoid getting uh, bombarded so, by all those bees. No, I hate the bees. Who likes the bees? So you, you got the spike shoots, the spike shoes though, so you can take out the and the sticky bombs. So you can take out that queen bee and get a bunch of health. <sighs> Do you think I? Sh I, I, I don't. That's I'm gonna not, die. Not worth the risk. No. Hey, Greg, come over here and get up on my microphone. We'll, we'll give we'll give we'll, we'll give Patrick the old uh, the old tag team, the old Greg and Max tag team. Here, can we? 
Oh, you got a chair? Okay, cool. Guys, we got uh, Greg Woland, creator of uh, Hundreds and Ridiculous Fishing and Solop Skier. All by himself. Co-creator. Yeah. All by himself. All kinds of good games. And Splunky Expert. It's not true. But Splunky, Splunky player. Splunky. We're all, we're all, we all have beginner's minds when it comes to Splunky. It's a journey. All right, Patrick. So we got a... Yeah, did you check out the left on the top here? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's right, because we're doing the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, spring shoes. Okay. The one item I don't pick up. Because it alters Cause the you're, physics too you're, much? You're too yeah. scared. Yeah, see, I'm, I was with you. He Max convinced me, so I decided I'd give it a shot. You gotta, you gotta be ready. You gotta have the... You have to have the... Uh, the jujitsu. You have to be yeah. able to... Uh, like flowing water. You have to be able to use any item. <laughs> A bunch of bullshit. It's the space inside the cup. <laughs> yeah. It's Not the space the inside the Kapala. That is useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice. Nice job on the TP. Oh, man. Okay. Nothing there. So, generally, the you'll you'll get a ping on the uh, the Wajidai, Patrick. If, 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 oh, Ooh, boy. Damn it. Damn it. This could be hello, it. Hello, All right. Shoes. Uh, yeah. Generally, you'll get a ping even if you're sort of like over or under the door. So you you can just sort of make sure at least on every, on the, the first and third levels that you do like a, as far left and right as you can. Yeah, the, with the spring shoes, I just think it fucks with your muscle memory too much. That's that's kind of my feeling on it. Like, I have a really good sense of what, uh, how I can do the jumps, and then all of a sudden... So see if you can right. di you can diagonal. Do you know how to do a diagonal throw, Patrick? You can take no. out that use his, uh... Yeah, that's smart. Put a rope down there. To grab the... Yeah. Oh, really? So you can rope can all rope the way to the bottom? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Like like way to take away my... Yeah, that was a dick move, frog. Patrick, one health, got, not feeling good about it. You got a lot of balls on those jumps there. You're, you're, yeah, you're, getting, you're getting real I close. I hit that vine. Yeah. But, you know, teach his own. <laughs> Can't tell if that was sarcasm. <laughs> I think this is promising. The black market's got to be in here. Sometimes it's in, it's in two four. I had this weird, uh, I had, a, I had a run end, I think yesterday, where when I fell down, I grabbed the ledge, and when you grab the ledge, it doesn't count as uh, stomping on them. Right. Um, you have to have, like, downward momentum exactly. of and your happens, feet into them. I and I did it. not, it was a really weird way to die. I had never seen that. I saw it yesterday, actually, um, with the jetpack. You, yep. You're going upward, and also... Going oh jeez, I don't like that at all. And that's how I died once on a hell run in all my. I remember that. I think I was watching that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, where the hell is the black market? Patrick, I might go in and, and get that frog if you feel like you can do it safely. What would I get out of it? Just you want to go all the way to the right and just see if you get a pin. There yeah, you but go. you got it, see? So what does that mean? Okay, so well, that means close. the black market is near, so... Oh, that frog. Yeah. yeah. You got spikes. Oh. You got spikes. Yeah, you're fine. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, oh it's oh, right wait. there. I see the bottom of it right there. Actually. So right here? Yeah, I so it's the, the upper, it's that... Do you see where the... Oh, yeah. Is? There you go. Just scan down before you go in there and just see if the damsel is within right. no, if you can cool. see the damsel. No. Nope. Right, there's a lot of bullshit going on on the left. Well, I don't know. Okay. Why? What were you gonna say? Well, you can go, but I don't know about angering the shopkeepers. I might be suicide with one health. Well, what are you gonna if you get shot, what's the difference between one and two health? Uh the enemy. 
I, pa- oh, listen, I believe in Patrick. I think he can. I think he can take this out. Yeah, All right, so black market experience. Pat, do you want to hear? Pause, and we'll, we'll talk okay. through this. Okay. So the black market. It's always the same layout. You've got four le- four levels on the black market. Mm-hmm. Go on the top. You have two shops. Right. Beneath that, you have two shops. Right. Beneath that, you have two more shops, mm-hmm. and the one on the bottom right is always a roulette wheel. Okay. And then beneath that, you just have randomly generated level, like a lot of tiki traps and spikes and stuff. Uh, each of the shops uh, obviously has a shopkeeper, and then the there's a, also there's so you have two, four, or six shops, and then there's a seventh shop that's all the way on the bottom like right quadrant of the map that stands alone, and then in there is an item that's the onk, right, which costs fifty, right, fifty, fifty grand, yeah, fifty grand. 50 so large. so you're gonna have so what you want to do is you, we're gonna have to basically take out most of the shopkeepers in this level. And Sounds then, reasonable. And then you're going to have to pop into that shop on the lower right and uh-huh. get the Ankh and then get out without being damaged at all. So there's – so I have a good – so there's – the method I employ is the Doug Wilson method. So okay. what he does is he will go through and bomb out a lot of the left column of the level. And then he will sort of rope up and anger the first shopkeeper. And, so that they just kind of fall? And then they just sort of fall down to their death. Yeah, so have a lot of I think that's the most foolproof way for you right now. What do you okay. Think? What yeah. do you think, Greg? Yes, definitely. Okay. That chunk of uh, land on it. Yeah, so you want to get right yeah, get there and then on the, on the left too, where you're standing. Yeah. And you can grab on to the, the side of the map too for safety with your, your gloves. Yep, so now take out the one beneath that and then you should be good to go. Right there should be solid. Yep, I think you're good to go. Oh, this snail is real fun. Take out that snake. Kill that snail. That's a problem. That's gonna be a problem for you. Did it's I hit a, a bubble? Him. Oh. You know what? Get the hit the kissing booth. Should I take out that tiki? Uh, no. That's well, gonna I'm anger the shopkeepers. Sure. No, actually, you sure? if you do it the on the top one. If you if you do it on the lower that little notch in there, the little L notch, I think he's safe. Just be ready to flee if okay. you fingers the shopkeepers. But I think you're okay. Nope. Uh, you're dead. Nope. Get up on oh, that. Up, yeah. up, up, up. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, that wasn't... You should have wasn't... bombed the top part of the key, like I said. Because <clears throat> that would have gone just two down. Oh! oh! <laughs> Look at all those guns. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's great. Was that the daily? No, no, we're about to do the daily no. now. Nice, you got to the black market though. So I, feel, I feel like that was I, that that I, so I take away from that run that I like that left column strategy. I feel like that is a solid strategy. Yeah, the blood. It, it gives you like I feel like it gives you a little bit of safety. Like even if you accidentally anger the shopkeepers, like they'll just all sort of fall to their deaths. Um, so and it that. allows you to be a little bit conservative too with it. Uh, that's that's good. You see, you, when you die, you don't get frustrated. You just take away your lessons from it. Chat, that's my right. lesson. Chat, um, chat's doing it. All right. Uh, now we're gonna do the daily challenge because we've had two uh, two pretty decent warm ups. Uh, and <laughs> he now t- he tied like he lived, waist deep in shopkeepers. All right. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so daily time. Are you gonna switch to your guy? Oh, I'm gonna. There's my lady. Because none of the none of the characters transfer over, and this is like a fresh install on this computer. So I had to unlock my characters again. And right. we yeah. took a risk and unlocked one, and it happened to be the girl that nice. I always play as, which I'm very happy about. Sort of a DW from Arthur. Like yeah. Alright. Are you going to go for uh, any kind of wajid eye or anything like that in this run? Or just go over? <sighs> I think I'm just gonna stick to Olmec. Yeah, I think that's smart. Uh, I, I usually use the the, the warm up challenges to experiment. Nope. No, I already I already triggered it. Thanks for paying attention, Max. Why well, the chat's real funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good excuse. They're making fun of you when they you guys when you die. Chat is great. Yeah. I love chats. <laughs> chat rooms, huh? Yeah, I, I usually do my experimentations and stuff on those 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 warm up runs yeah, uh, to try some good. some new strategies. But then, because I still haven't beaten Olmec yet, uh, I feel right. like that's still like a reasonable uh, path to go down with uh, the daily challenge and just kind of stick to what I'm comfortable with. And Olmec is still a huge challenge. So. Oh, I got so close that one time. God damn yeah. it.
pure dogs, right? Yeah, or you have it on random. No, I have it on dogs. Which I, I also feel bad about. It really bums me as a dog owner. It bums me out on a regular basis. How'd your dog do in the cold? Not good. Uh, when it was the negative thirty, she just wouldn't go outside. Like I put her up and I got her in the, the the boots and I got her in the. She got all booties. She had the small dogs have to because the uh, salt they put on to yeah. get rid of the ice is really abrasive. So it actually like. She would walk outside and then, and then just sit down, and I'd be like, are you just doing that because you're not new to the cold? Like, stop it. And then I'd drag her along, and then she'd whine, and then I looked it up and be like, oh, no, you're hurting your dog. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. But when it was, like, negative 30 and it was, uh, it was the wind was out, uh, there was no getting her out. I skip the sticky. Yeah, don't get those stickies. That seems to be, it seems like buying the stickies is kind of a, a pointless affair. Like you're almost always gonna find a spider, right? Like that seems that seems pretty yeah. common. Yeah, you you pretty much, Greg, you pretty much need those the stickies by the end of the jungle, right? There's like, a spider. Like there's no way to get them if you don't get them in, in the black market, right? Unless it's um, uh, according, according to I guess. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, how the what the? That was just a little. What the fuck was that? Of its tongue. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Wait. Some... Oh no, I know what it was. It was the gem when it sprayed wide left, and then this guy on the left. Yeah, no, oh, the stickies. Wow. See, those, see all the stickies? Yeah. That's just mean. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, there wasn't much you can do about that. Don't beat yourself up. I won't, but I'm still gonna be bummed. <laughs> Oh, that's so true. No, whatever. Either, either Chris. What, what, what ends up happening is either Chris Remo has uh, a spectacular run, yeah. where it's just like he clearly he clearly made it to Olmec or went on a hell run or something, yeah. or he just got killed like right up front, and then it just doesn't matter how mediocre my run is. Mm -hmm. like, Chris Remo is a he's been playing for far longer and it's much better. Chat Chat is saying that uh, everyone got hit by that arrow in one three. Okay. Any of those arrows that are like right off to the side are just super mean. Yes. I just so don't that's, remember that's often. I don't have... remember often enough to just throw things. Well, you gotta you gotta look up and down. Like you should know before you go down a level, you should know what's on the level beneath it. That's what my sensei Greg taught me. That well, makes sense. Sometimes you don't have that option. But it does make sense that like oftentimes I won't see that. Look at that. Why did I why did I fight that guy? Um. Let's go for blood later. <laughs> yeah. Blood letting. I still, I have not gotten that. Yeah. I also didn't know the arrows can't kill enemies. They can. They can? Oh, they someone can. told it's, me they it's couldn't. The, it's only the arrow fragment, you know how sometimes it breaks oh. in half? Then, then it cannot break, kill enemies. But it can, Those like, dis, it'll dislodge a spider or a bat from their from their roost. The arrow will? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So you can, like, take out a scorpion with a single arrow. And it will trigger traps. But yeah. Oh, man. I like it. I like it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Because otherwise I end up spending, like, if you add it up over time, right. an, an, an ornament amount of time just, like, lining up the drop. Yeah, it is a little touchy. So I haven't seen the chest. I haven't seen... I, haven't I, think, seen I, haven't, I, I think it's going to be in the next one. Yeah. You know, if you jump through those webs, it doesn't... I was gonna. I was gonna ask. I saw Max doing that last night, and I was like, "Is that a strategy?" I don't no, know it's about. Just no. But you, you can uh, throw an item in the web, and if there's an item in the web with you, it will break twice as quickly. Really? Yeah, if you throw like a rock or a, an arrow Ooh. in the web, it, it it goes twice as quick. So like, if you're carrying the dog, throw the oh, dog in the web, and then there's a double. double right. Duty. Exactly. That's my spunky pick of the week. Throw an, throw an item in the web. Put a whip that jewel down and then it won't trigger it. Ah, you're right. 
Thanks, nice. buddy. That always feels good. Yep. There you go. That's not the worst. If you don't like the springs, I wouldn't stand over the uh, sacrifice to make that way. Oh, that's true. That's my trick. That's my type of elite. <laughs> Damn it! Be a, be, a, be a wuss and don't get the uh, spring boots and never adapt to what the game has to offer. Oh my god. I haven't seen the chest. It has to be. You gonna go for it? You gonna go for it? It's not. If you're not going for. Yeah, if you're not gonna go. For, well, but you could go to the black market. That's that's. Beginning of the city of gold is the way to beat Chris Remo. I don't. I'm gonna have to use so many resources to get back there. Yeah. I'm just. He's a nice trinket, at least. Yeah. I, you know, I feel. I got this key. It's it's real heavy. I can throw it around. Do you have a tunnel man? Open it up. No, this is all fresh. Damn it, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That sucks. Batting him with me to death. Now the drum, know, drum roll, drum roll, please. It humbles you. It did does. We beat, did we beat Remo? You got like what, 20k? Yeah! yeah, yeah. Hashtag beat Remo. Patrick, uh, I, don't, I, don't you, uh, I don't know about you, but I want to see Greg uh, take on a round that's here. A I want to see. Daily. I want to see the master. Yeah, I think everyone got everyone got whooped there. Uh, I wouldn't have had to go. Who's Pendex? If I'm gonna play the daily though, I'd have to play on my Vita. Oh, Tom Tom Francis, he's the uh, creator of yeah. Gunpoint. Oh, cool. uh, he also, if you go into his YouTube channel, he has he's been doing dailies for a long time yeah. and does a lot of talking through his uh, his yeah, process. He's videos. he's really good at the game. Um, yeah. Greg, you want to give it a go? Sure. Greg is the Greg is. He the... also has a no gold run, I think, on there, which is pretty impressive. Greg is the. Uh, Greg is the Splunky master in our in our office. Is that he far he is yeah. he's taught me everything I know, all the bad advice that I know. Is there any difference with the controls at all? Difference with the controls? On the PC version? Yeah. No. Like that you've set up. No, I no, everything's everything's default. All right, we're going to have uh, before we close this out, we're going to have uh, Greg who is is much better than me uh just no. Do do it home. I, I would love to see my heart is already Patrick on Twitter, I oh, made, I tweeted. I, I know said, we're, we're starting fresh. Sorry. Patrick on Twitter, I said we're coming for you, Chris Remo. <laughs> and then Chris just replied to me, and I linked to the chat, and he goes, "Wait, what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> See, now you spoiled it because we've gone a week and a half with him having no idea that secretly I run a feature on Giant Bomb where I just try and beat his high score. Does he? He doesn't see the There's hashtag. No. I, no. <laughs> I just don't think he gets it. Well, because Giant Bomb and Idle Thumbs have like a really friendly rivalry, but I don't think he realized that he was like the highlight piece of like a daily part of my life. Oh man, I really hope he's in the chat right now. <laughs> Chris, you're a whole hashtag. <laughs> today was today was beat Remo. Tomorrow could be Hail Remo. It could go it could go any number of ways. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> All right, Greg, so you're going for, for Hell Run? <clears throat> That's just such the best response. I think the image for this video might just be, wait, what the fuck, from Chris Remo. <laughs> Remo. 
it's just a, it's a very innocuous thing to say. We're coming for you, Chris Remo. Link to a live stream. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, uh, Double Fun Adventure is out today. Is it not for backers, right? Yeah, I think actually right now, uh, people are mentioning in the chat they're doing a, a stream for, uh, I think to, to run through like maybe the first hour of the game with with Schaefer. Um, yeah, I got a code for that. Why am I uh, watching last this night? Shit? We should. Uh, we should. I, I want to. I would definitely want to check that out. <laughs> I like this one. Uh, Tyler Lockhart on Twitter. Uh, Great job. Hashtag we beat a Remo. <laughs> Getting all these fresh journal entries. So satisfying. It's like the Splunky Pokedex. So if you... Nice rock work, Craig. So if you get to the mothership, <laughs> is the mothership a different ending? Is that a way of finishing the game as well? Or do you just come out the other side and... Well, it's just, yeah, it is, but the, it's not, the robot's not like a special thing, it's just, uh, that's just an unlockable character, mm. and in the PC version, when you unlock a character, it acts like a higher hand. It follows you around, so that's why Venusaurus Rex used the robot, because he needed a higher hand to carry the, yeah, okay. yeah, You just get a really good, do you know the alien, the plasma rifle? Okay. No, I have not encountered that. It's a, it's an extremely powerful and extremely destructive weapon, and it will like, it's like a, like shooting a bomb out of a gun, basically. Um, That's, has, that seems like a good way to kill yourself. It's a, such a good way to kill yourself, and also it has a huge kickback. It will send you like flying backwards. Um, but you get that in the Alien Mothership. You can do some cool stuff with that. Like I think um, Bananasaurus Rex, who's a, a really good streamer, did like a three million dollar world record run over the weekend with the. He brought the the alien rifle to hell uh, to the city of Gold. I mean, that's ridiculous. And like blew up the whole level and collected everything. Jesus. That, yeah, that guy's unbelievable. Like, I mean, Doug, Doug's write up about his the eggplant run is, I just, the amount of things that stack on top of each other in terms yeah. of like mechanical knowledge and exploits and it's just a yeah I, I can't even explain it solid run so far Greg. it's going really well you're not gonna get those boots though huh you're not getting the spike boots oh I see I'm watching the stream you're like five minutes ahead sorry oh yeah, Twitch recently, for whatever reason, increased like the delay on their the stream. Key to the left there. Okay. It's nice for like instant instant replay if you want to see how you died. It is really good for that. Uh, is there any reason to ever go for the shopkeeper that's embedded in the rock? The I guess. The yeah. Okay. You, if you get all those gems and you don't collect them, then the, you get a lot of diamonds from the ghost there. One thing, like, I'll say for you, Patrick, is, uh, when you're, um, this was, like, taught to me by Mike Foxhunter. When you're, uh, lifting a bat, you lift first and then jump. It's, like, very unintuitive, but you always have to It creates, hmm. like, a, an arc. Hmm. Oh, chat! Chat is asking about the skull. Did you did you hear about that, Patrick? What? The skull that they found by our office. No, I, so, I saw the photo about okay. the skull by your office, but so, I don't know the story. <clears throat> so I came into work. Except one, that I'm deeply suspicious. Uh, so I come into work one day, and as I'm driving up to the office, like on our block, there's like the CBS, like ABC, NBC, like news vans, and, I'm, and they're like right outside the office. And my first thought is like. That's it. They came for me. Like something's, like something's going on. Well, yeah. I don't know what I did, but yeah. I definitely, you know what? I believe I did something. I was like, yeah, I was like, maybe it was like stealing fonts or something. Like, <laughs> I was like, somehow they're coming for me. So we, so I come, I pull up to the office, and there's an, oh my god, what are you doing, buddy? That's terrifying. <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Uh, so we, so I show up to the office and there's an unmarked uh, cop car sitting outside our office too, okay. and I'm 
losing my mind. So I like, get out of the car and I walk in and I'm expecting someone to like come up and be like, hey, are you Max Tempted? Max. Yeah. But no one says anything and I come in everyone's just in here working and I'm like, what the hell is going on today? No one's heard anything. So I go online and I like Google uh, our neighborhood online and like they, it turns out that like they, someone, one of our neighbors, like right down the street, found a skull in their two flat, like a construction crew, just a human skull and it became like a news story, I guess. And so all the news was out. <laughs> and uh, the update, so people in the chat were asking what, what happened with that skull. The update was, it turns out it was a Halloween decoration, and it wasn't a skull. <laughs> <laughs> That's an unfortunate retraction to have to write on your website. Yeah. Oh, are you going to steal that jetpack? You, ha you have to. Just because you'll end up spending too much money otherwise? Or just you might not have that amount of money? It's too, the bomb crate and the jetpack together are irresistible. So that's just one of the times when you would say, "Screw it, I'm, I'm, an, I'm gonna I just, I'm gonna just." Sure, but like. A lot can go wrong. It's a spelunky no hit run. You're safe in that little. Oh, it's right, because you had the spike shoes. So, I like the, the guy uh, mechanizing the chat. Now nobody will believe a real murder when it happens there. That's convenient. <laughs> it's yeah. good to know. Yeah, it's probably just a Halloween decoration. <laughs> That's what you can tell the police. So I thought when they found that skull, we have like a, there's like this uh, great like mailing list of like all the people on the block, like the neighborhood like listserv. Okay. And I thought it might be funny to send an email out to the listserv and just be like, hey, has anyone seen my skull? <laughs> I, I can't remember. I left it lying around and I had it. And now I don't. Does anyone know where it went? <gasps> but then I thought someone would have like reported that to the cops. <laughs> like they have no, I wasn't sure they would get. They're going to archive that email. Yeah. Ooh. You got a ping. I think it's in that. I'd go, I'd, Greg, I'd go down. I think you're. I think that the. I think the door is under you. No, I mean I think it's in that those blocks. I think you want to mine down with the matic. That sucks. Oh, you can take those out with that? Fuck. Yeah, the Maddox, the Maddox, great. Man, learning new things. The first time I got the jetpack, uh, I didn't know it could run out of fuel and just, I'm in the caves coasting along and just run out of fuel and just fall all the way to the ground. Greg, what's your thought behind taking out all the monkey? Oh my god. You're worried about getting stunned? Okay. There it is. So you're gonna have to anger the shopkeeper here, I think. Oh right. I forgot I forgot you stole. So when you are throwing them against the wall when you're hanging, do you have to detach from the wall and then throw, or can you throw it while you're hanging? Way. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nicely done. That was really good, Greg. It's a good way to make me feel bad about myself. I imagine, like, ghost mining with the jetpack must make a lot of sense because you're so mobile.
There you go. Greg, nicely done. Oh, so even those guys start attacking you right away? No, you just attack your pot, stupidly. Mm. Uh, the, the, he's just an NPC, but like the NPCs are incredibly dumb in this game. Best case scenario, he gets killed immediately by a shotgun. <laughs> like if he gets that shotgun, he's definitely gonna shoot Greg. By accident. Oh, he'll. Oh, okay. See, now Greg's got a whole problem here. <laughs> I like how he, does it. he looks like he's really confident with that shotgun, though. Like, no, no, he's not. He's my master. He's my master. So. <clears throat> Chat, chat's asking what's going on. This is uh, Greg uh, Woland, who uh, also works in, in the office with us. Uh, he's taking a run. Greg is uh, an indie, indie game designer. Worked on the iOS game hundreds. Basketball. Basketball. Smash hit. Cult favorite. <laughs> That's the same thing. Crowd favorite. You got a crate. So Greg, you never clear the black market out. You never do the, the like the Doug Wilson method. You just get you like just going for it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a really mysterious <laughs> way to answer that question. I just, I mean, I. Uh, you can grab that teleporter. Was, was most comfortable to me at the time, but I mean, I have done this. Those bats, man. I don't like them. Are you gonna go for the onk? You just haven't seen the one on the bottom left. Yep, it's, that's me. I unlocked that achievement. I attached that to my profile. I got it. Uh, people are asking in the in the cards office how many people work on stuff that's not cards. It's the oh, oh, oh man. That was so uh, it's about fifty fifty. So there's uh ten desks in the office and we have uh, five uh, desks are for cards and five desks are like uh, just co-working. So it's it's uh, game designers and artists and other people. Photographer. about that just made me deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> why Why do we have people who in the office who don't work on cards? Uh, just, it, it, it's weird. To, I always thought it was weird to like work in an office where it's like everyone's doing the same thing and you just live in a weird little bubble. So it's nice like creatively to have people who do different things and you can learn from people and stuff. You just got pretty lucky there. <laughs> 43 bombs. What you you can't even use bombs? all those yeah. bombs. Well, I might go to the worm or something, do some funny stuff. I tried to get into the worm yesterday and failed to do so. I, I got, I got the, I threw a damsel up there, but oh, then wasn't able to get myself in there. He'll shoot you in the web. Oh, he can still shoot through the web? Yes. If he's in, yeah, see, if he can break free. There we go. <gasps> Let's ask the chat. What do you guys want to see Greg do? We could go to the worm, we could try to do the alien mothership. That mothership is rough. I got in there. I got in there once, and I got it's like very hard. I think it's the hardest level in the game. 
There's just so many like projectiles that are that are going through various walls. Like that's what that's what threw me off. It's the uh, the heat the heat seeking for me. The... Oh, the turrets. Should we go for the piranha? That's certainly bad. What what do you get from the piranha? There's like three boxes. People are the... saying people are saying mothership. I think it's split. It's actually split between worm and mothership. We can, we can do things like run a pole. Oh yeah, Patrick's gonna make a guys. Patrick will make a pole. <clears throat> All right, where to? A worm, B mothership, C death. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take whatever is the split between A and B. C is, C is almost certain, so come on. Voting uh, Mothership. Oh man, Worm's winning. neck and neck between Worm and Mothership. I'm going for the Worm. Yep. Probably. Worm won, or Worm is ahead. Uh, worm won by uh, four votes. Four votes. Wait, what was that? What the hell just happened? Like, Did you throw it down? Yeah, but it's like turned in the Oh, weird. So can you throw them at any angle? Like, with the analog stick? Okay. People in the chat uh, wondering how, as soon as in the stream you heard, let's make a poll, and then the poll was already over. Uh, that is the extent to which Twitch has changed the the delay, which they have claimed is because uh, the amount of users they're servicing is creating quality issues, which Twitch has had long had quality issues. So I don't I don't think they're lying about that, but that's an unfortunate way to handle that problem uh, because uh, it makes interacting with anybody much more difficult. So do all the items keep stacking, or at some point do they that just stop? You stop acquiring items. No, so they just stop displaying, or do they continue to get smaller and just sort of keep showing up there? A worm. Can you do? You can do it in the caves too. Is there only one worm per world? Okay. So say I saw one earlier. Has Greg beaten hell? Yeah, Greg's Greg's beaten hell. Greg's beaten uh, Yama. Just once? Once. Do you play a lot of co-op? Um, it was like a fluke. Me and Ryan Weimar. Just playing, and I had to go get, like, hot dogs. I'm like, come on, let's hurry this up. <laughs> That happened, really that happened yesterday. We were trying to play test this new card game, and Tommy was on a run, and I just wanted that run to be over so we could start our yeah. play test, and it just, w he just wouldn't quit. Like, it was just he got really He got really deep. He got all the way to Olmec yeah. and then screwed it up on a, a just a really dumb move. Hey, there we are. Okay, we're good. All right, oh, we're... Wait, did that kill the guy? Wait, feed the shop. Can you feed the shopkeeper to the worm? Uh...
So to open the worm up, you gotta uh, feed it the dog, and then when it comes out to feed like that, you wanna you wanna jump inside of it. You can actually it. feed the dog, and then um, any time, and you don't have to take it to the exit. And then if you go in another exit. You can actually kill them? The, mm. Even the ghost is killable, Patrick. How? Some Well, so people figured it out through cheating at first. Like they turned on Just the looking at the engine. engine. Yeah. yeah, but then they... But then um, I think it was Banana Source Rex. Is that right? Oh, boy. That makes me very scared. Oh, those regenerate? Um, I, bet, I bet if you're in the path of it, yeah. it'll just kill you. Yeah, it just insta-kills you. So, and then Patrick Bananasaurus Rex killed the ghost. He used a uh, lava. Um, he, he made the ghost go over a lava pit, like go through the lava pit, and he would like, lose health every time. You can actually see when the ghost gets hit by lava. It's like not uh, only a few things in the game actually damage the ghost. So with lava, it's like a weird bug, I guess, that it damages the ghost. But why does it even have a, a, da uh, like, a, hit, like, a like a hit point value? I think it's just part of like uh, the design. It just, it's required that would, a creature has to have a hit I, I point value? It's like, it's, to it's me, it's a choice. Yeah, to me it's good programming. It's like they could have given it like negative one health or something, so it like it was just invincible. But right. it's like part of creating like this like emergent system in the game that they give everything like It's like ah properties. no one will figure this out, but then right. maybe someone figures it out. Right. Huh. What happens when it when it dies? Does it drop anything? There's no ghost. Oh nice. So this item that Greg got called the it's called the Chris knife. This is probably the most powerful weapon in the game. It one hit kills any enemy, and it replace and it replaces your rope. You can't Chris knife the ghost, can you? Because it counts as touching the ghost. So so now you can't use the rope anymore. The the whip. Oh, the whip. This is, this is way better than the whip. What are the, the pustules? They have the little slugs in them. Are they like a are they like a pot? Like they can have a gem in them? Someone says the ghost was nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine HP. Which Oh man. Oh man. Oh that was Playing with fire. Yeah. You, gotta get, you gotta get that mother yeah, shipper. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what's that glowing green thing? Is that in the background? Oh, I see. That's the that's like the character. Jeez, this, this level is ridiculous. Just the sheer length of it. Yeah, the music, people are people are commenting on the music in here. Some of my favorite music in the game. It's real farty. I like number of enemies. The idea that you would even come, on, come in here without a shotgun, I just don't even know how you would manage it. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and there's a shopkeeper to boot. You know Chris Knight oh. 39 bombs. Oh, wow. <laughs> you gotta go in. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Bravo. So are you going through its butt? There? <laughs> Is that what we're trying looking to at? trying to figure out the actual ge the yeah. <laughs> the geometry of this? So so we had that poll to decide if we wanted to do the worm or the alien mothership. So you already did the worm, so I guess you might as well do the mothership. Yeah, but I think we're gonna get lucky here. We're gonna see both.
Doesn't everyone though? <laughs> you know? If you really think about it. Do you have any favor with power? Uh, I don't think he sacrificed anything. You got a lot of... Uh... <laughs> you monster. Why don't you give some bombs to the rest of us? Because how many things in the mothership would only take off one health anyway? Right. That's true. That little alien guy is getting some I guess that's true. But I think those targets must take off too, right? Like the, the mo mobile turrets. <laughs> I just go ahead and just let off a bomb. Greg, people in the chat want to know why are you still getting money? You just have it. Uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it's wow, what an That's interview. a very nuanced, what introspective an answer, thanks to well, Greg. We're really, we're really, what a, <laughs> what a Hold penetrating. Stop it. Um, well, score, I mean, that's, that's how score is going to score. And, uh, this is so intense. Can you kill the turrets? Uh, yeah. yeah. Because that's what screwed me. The I mean, I only made it here once, and I was completely overwhelmed. Jeez. Oh, it's those two, huh? So the the two alien. What are they called? The alien queen. They, they target you. Oh, it's not those turrets. No, it's the aliens in the boxes in the upper. Mm. Oh, those. Jeez, man. Oh, now you got a little, you got a little shopkeeper. Nice nervous. Man. man. So I guess I guess you're gonna get to see that alien uh, the plasma rifle on this one. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never got to see that because I, I died almost immediately in the mothership. Oh. Is it the other one drop? The second one drops the. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh wow, you got t you're dealing with two. No, no, no. Oh man, now you got a ghost. So you're just gonna drag him down so you have a, a chance to deal with the the guys above? a lot about the last five minutes. <laughs> I can't even make no, Patrick, in, can't even make insightful he's, commentary. He's always, he's always fully in control. <laughs> says the guy until he dies. <laughs> that's, that's what everyone says. Right, right. No, I when I pick up the teleporter, I say I'm also fully in control. Sticky bomb. Fuck. <laughs> that is a bad way to die. <gasps> so it's the it's those pink uh, laser rays that shoot down. They they reflect anything. So if you shot shoot shotgun into them, they would just come right back. They'll reflect the pellets. That's back so at mean. You. Yeah. That's that, I don't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> the 
This is the people are calling this the YOLO run. So can't you just go oh. up? Oh my god. Wow. Alright, Greg. You are a beast. Holy shit, dude. What a run. So now you're gonna get to really see some carnage with this, this uh, with this with this plasma <laughs> rifle. Most of the carnage will be Greg's, but you'll see some. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I love it. Hey, so if you, had, if you had the Ankh, then that would open, the, right? Shoot the, shoot the head. Do you think it's going to kill to yeah. take out those blocks? No, it, doesn't. it doesn't. Someone's tried it. Oh. You. You didn't deserve to survive that. <laughs> <laughs> that was unfair to us. Secretly start having Greg play my daily challenge runs. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think it. Let's beat Chris. So I'm Reno. just watching the replay. I think it did take out those blocks. Can you see if you can. Oh, well, it takes out the surrounding, but not the actual head itself. Right, but. You're very hopeful. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you need the you need the Ankh at this That's point. Yeah, I was gonna say. I thought I saw some, those invisible blocks fly away. The problem is how often do you, you never get the Maui head before the, the rifle. I don't know if this is like recreatable. Oh! oh. This is unbelievable. Anub Anubis is in for a surprise. Oh, watch out for that flump. <laughs> <laughs> the supreme confidence emerging from your mouth. This is the best. I think this is the best music in the game, too. You get the good temple music. The temple B. That's what this track is. Yeah. It's my favorite That's what music. you want out of that temple track. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is the A side. <laughs> this whole run is overkill. You're overkill. And ending on the stream this way when I'm gonna have to play again tomorrow is all overkill. Did you just have Greg do your daily? I think. That's I think I know. Oh boy, that's a good way to beat Remo. Just hired thugs playing our Spelunky challenges. Yeah, you get Bananasaurus Rex on your Steam account. <gasps> yeah, don't use a bomb when you got that. <laughs> just, just hang back. Dude, yeah, you got it. And you got another one. You see it? Oh! oh! The kickback! Didn't come oh. Bravo! Well, Man, that was a hell of a run. That, that'll do it for. We can watch the replay. Lunkin with <laughs> scoops. That was. I feel like that's the only way that that could have ended. Uh, yeah. Greg, thanks for going on a completely crazy run. Thank you. That that was awesome, Max. Thanks for, thanks for hanging. I know that you are busy yeah, this thanks week. For, thanks for doing the play stream testing. On the, uh, 
uh, at the office here. This was real fun. Yeah, oh, so uh, we're gonna try and do this uh, do this more often, schedule permitting, um, and we'll try and rope in some guests because this place plays a lot of spelunky. Um, but uh, as always, when it goes bad, at least there's always tomorrow. And today we beat Chris Remo, so today is a win. Uh, we'll worry about getting further uh, tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.